in today's video I've been meaning to share on my channel for a while now. I have briefly touched over it in other videos like my how I got cheated on story time or my ex left with his sister story time but I've been meaning to make a dedicated video and I don't want my channel to be all about my ex but keep in mind I did date this guy for years and there's a lot of crazy experiences and story times that came out of that relationship because it was so toxic and sometimes you don't understand how unhealthy a relationship is until you get out of it. That's why I also think that this teaches a lot of good life lessons and if I would have seen a YouTuber when I was dating him share stories like this, I think it might have clicked in my mind a little bit sooner. This video is sponsored by the song Heartbreak which I'm going to link below if you guys want to check it out. It's a really catchy song and I thought that this story time kind of fit it perfectly just because this was one of the hardest things I ever had to go through at the time because it was the first guy I ever thought that I really loved my longest relationship and if you guys like the story time be sure to give it a thumbs up and leave a comment letting me know just because I do have others like this but I wanted to share this one first to highlight the fact that I did leave him we are no longer together and I'm not stupid anymore but in other story times we did obviously stay together after the things that happened and there's really crazy ones so let me know below if you want to hear about all those crazy fights we got into and other times I caught him being unfaithful so this story takes place exactly 11 months ago it was the very beginning of September and if you guys have seen my other videos you know that we did long distance for a year and then I moved back to California so we had been together for around two years at this point going to the same college and at this point I also had found out that he was unfaithful a little bit but I did not know the full story I never really got the full scoop or at least like as much as I know now until we broke up for good so yeah I didn't trust him I didn't really want to be with him I was very bitter towards him at this point very resentful it was not a good time, a good place in our relationship. We were not at a very good point and I really wasn't willing to try anymore but at the same time it was like you know I left my family to be with him I thought I loved him he told me he changed whatever and so a few days prior to this happening I was in Chico visiting my best friend Alexa and he was in Chico visiting one of his other friends and we had gotten into a huge fight over basically like a guy friend of mine had texted me and we exchanged texts like back and forth like literally two texts it was so irrelevant and I didn't mention it to him because I just didn't think it mattered you know he was very controlling didn't want me talking to like anyone one of the opposite sex so I just didn't mention it to him and then he, he like went completely crazy on me screaming at me and all this stuff and so I blocked his number and all this stuff and I was like you I'm not talking to you till I get back you know and then we can figure things out so I did and we had a couple days of space and when I came back to Reading which is where I still live now he does not live there anymore because like I said we broke up I went over to his apartment and we talked things out he apologized and I like reassured him like he's my friend you know he's my friend he's been my friend for years look I still have the text message I didn't delete anything I just didn't think to tell you like I didn't think about it like he just texted me yesterday and I wasn't with you when it happened so everything was fine right and we, we talked like we're gonna work on our relationship like we're gonna make things better but we have to trust each other and keep in mind I never did anything to him to make him not trust me I am a hundred percent loyal in every relationship I've ever been in there's no room for that with me I don't even look at other people like if I'm dating you like I'm dating you I only want you type of thing but him it was a completely different story he was always doing things behind my back and sneaking around and that became very clear towards the end and when we broke up and it got really late I was still at his apartment and we were watching our favorite show at the time and when the show was like almost over he fell asleep so he's on the couch and he's asleep and I'm sitting there and I'm like wide awake because you guys know I never sleep like I'm a total insomniac so I took his phone well actually I didn't take his phone yet and I don't want you guys telling me like oh my gosh she went snooping through his stuff we were dating for like ever we were very close we had all each other's passwords and it wasn't like we like had to give each other's passwords. It's just like we shared everything together, like literally everything. And so um, I had my phone though. This is what happened because I unblocked him because like I said, we got in the huge fight and I blocked him. So I unblocked him and he had posted a couple pictures from the weekend that he was in Chico. So I was looking at them and I saw this girl comment on it and she said something I can't remember, but it was like with emojis, like kind of looked a little flirtatious and I don't really read too into things. But for some reason, I recognized the name, and I was like, where where do I know this girl from? Like, I swear I recognize her name. And the comment, like, it looked as if he had replied to it and then deleted his reply because she replied, she commented on the picture twice as if she was, like, talking to herself. So it was just a little bit fishy. So I click on her profile, and right away I'm like, 
okay, I think I know where I've heard of this girl from. So my ex Gabe, he used to go to this camp every summer and every winter. He like sort of used to work at it, I guess. And it's for like cheerleading and BMX. It's like a bunch of like people go to this place to like learn how to get better with their sports and whatever. And so he used to go there like all the time. And there's a lot of like girls that he met there like in the past before you're we dating that he still kind of kept in contact with. And the thing about those girls is like none of them were his friends like those are all girls that he like made out with at summer camp back in the day like you know what I mean they were all kind of like not very respectful of our relationship whenever they would hit him up but it wasn't like they would hit him up he would hit them up I just didn't know it at the time because I would just listen to whatever he told me so I was like okay she's from that camp and the camp I'm just gonna be honest it's called Woodward many of you guys may have heard of it so yeah I'm like all right she's a Woodward chick like that's not a good sign and I'm stalking her Instagram a little bit and then I see this. There's a selfie. It's like her and her friend, but it's like mostly of her. Like she's in the front and they're at some type of concert. And the picture was literally her boobs. Like she was wearing, I don't even know if I'd call it a bra. I don't know what it was. And it had writing on it, but she literally cut it. So you couldn't even read what it wrote. And she was like, like posing with her tongue out, like bent over, all the stuff, like really half naked. And that doesn't even matter. The fact that my boyfriend was like doing this, like on anyone's picture of like any kind, that wasn't me when we're in a relationship. And he commented heart eyes. And he said something like beautiful or something like that, like stunning or something. And I was like, I, so I was like, I looked at the date, right? Because I was like, okay, like this is really far back on her profile. We might not have been together. So I look. And it was when we were together, but it was like a year, like a year and a half or so ago because we had dated for a long time. So it was when we were together, like towards the beginning of our relationship, we had maybe been dating for like six months or so back then versus two years. But it was still while we were in a relationship and that did not make me feel any better about the fact that she had just commented on his photos and she had obviously deleted something and it was just fishy, right? It was so fishy. So I woke him up and I was like crying, like what is this about? Like that was when we were together. Who is this girl? Why is she commenting on your stuff? Because she lived in Chico. She lived in Chico. That was in her bio and I was like, okay, you were just in Chico. She's commenting on your picture in Chico. Did you guys hang out with her? Like, this just doesn't make any sense. Why were you like commenting hard eyes on her picture when we were in a relationship? And that made me immediately angry because there's so many other instances where he was caught doing stuff like this. And it turned out to be something like a lot more than I realized if you guys have seen any of my other videos. So automatically I was like really hurt by it and upset and just confused. And I knew he was lying to me. Like I had a gut feeling and girls or guys, usually when you get a gut feeling like that with your significant other you're hardly ever wrong like usually you're pretty spot on when you have a feeling like that he was just automatically getting super defensive like I don't talk to her babe I don't text her I never saw her I haven't spoken to her in years like you're crazy like you need to stop like you're, you're thinking about too much just like let it go let it go let it go let it go I don't talk to her and so I was like no like I'm not letting this go because every other time this has ever happened I was never wrong like there was always something more into it and the way he was reacting was just like not normal he was like too freaked out about the fact that I had his phone or that I saw that comment so I was literally looking at his phone for like maybe 40 minutes not even lying like he was just sitting there and I'm sitting there and I'm going through his phone and he's like peering over my shoulder like babe like chill it's fine it's fine like stop like you're not gonna find anything and so I'm looking through through all his apps like literally everything just because I, I knew and this thing I obviously should have broken up with him long before this like no one needs to tell me that but finally you know on an iPhone how if you scroll over to the left it shows who they recently texted he had been texting her like it shows like four or six people or something and then if you press see more it shows more and her freaking name was in there so it said Taylor and then he was like okay babe I was texting her but I deleted it and I'm like why would you delete it like why would you delete it he's like because you were talking to blah, blah blah my guy friend that we exchanged like two messages that I showed him the text I was like I showed you the messages like and then I was like, this doesn't make any sense, like, whatever. And he's like, I'm sorry, like, I swear, like, this is all the text said. And he told me that she hit him up, being like, Let's hang out, like, let's hang out. I want to go to this parade with you, like, please come see me. And then he said that he was like, No, I have a girlfriend, you better back off. And I was like, I highly doubt that's what the text said between you two. Like, you probably hit her up, like, you probably texted her first. He was like, No, babe, I swear to God, she was just, like, throwing herself at me. Like, she's so gross. Like, I didn't even want her. Oh, also, before this, before I was, like, asking him about who she was and he confirmed that she went to Woodward and all that before I saw the Woodward pictures, he was trying to act confused, like... What? No, that girl's married. That girl's pregnant. She's a baby and she's married. As if, like, I wasn't talking about the girl that I was. Like, I was 
pointing out a picture and it was like her and her friend in the back and he tried to act confused like I was talking about the girl in the back of the picture and I was like no I'm talking about the girl who's like Instagram feed I'm stalking right now stop trying to change the subject and throw me off right now so he had just obviously like he had something to hide so finally when he admitted the text messages you know he's claiming that it was all her he didn't even want to text her he didn't even text her back like he had her on like reddit ignore you know and I'm like why did you delete the messages then you know how big of a deal that is to me considering like we're on the verge of breaking up like this whole like past couple months and I don't trust you and what happened with Susie and Julie and all these other girls I mentioned in other story times I was just like I had just had it like you know I don't want to be with you why are you doing this like why are you risking anything in our relationship right now like is it really worth it to leave these messages if you weren't saying anything and he was just telling me like no, I swear I wasn't saying anything like I swear it was all her you to believe me and he's like crying it's like so pathetic and it was just so obvious that like he felt guilty for like something but here's the thing in my opinion if you say you're sorry or you fess up for something after you get caught, you're not really sorry. You're sorry that you got caught. If you can come forward about it beforehand, that's different. And so he was never able to do that in any situation. It was always me catching him red handed. And it wouldn't be until like the last second of me catching him with whatever that he would like finally like admit to it till he got caught. And so he was still doing that in this situation, right? And I'm like, you know, I wanna go home. I wanna go home. I can't be here right now. I'm just like literally bawling my eyes out. I'm like, I can't be here. I wanna go home. And he had picked me up from school. This is when I was living in the dorm. So I didn't have my car there like he drove me to his house and we were like working things out and watching them like the TV show and everything So he needed to drive me home in his truck I did not have my car there and he was like refusing to do so like basically keeping me there I'm like, you know, I'm gonna walk home then which was ridiculous That would have taken me like a couple hours and that would have been like so unsafe I would have got hit by a car because I'd have to walk on the literal freaking highway, but I just couldn't be there I couldn't handle it. I didn't know what to do Like I literally couldn't be around him and he was screaming and crying and wailing and he was like punching the walls and stuff Like acting completely insane. It was like scary. I knew he would never hit me, but it was so like he was acting completely like so immature about it like I caught you in something and you're just here like acting like crying and like whatever and like punching things like he punched a picture frame and it shattered and so I'm just like I want to go home I want to go home and I'm bawling and he like won't take me home so finally I took his phone and I threw it as like hard as I could I'm like even when I'm really really angry and I'm not an angry person I don't get violent like this I don't like get like this in any sort of situation but with him he just hurt me so much over the course of two years and this is when we finally broke up and it was such a bad relationship that I was just like not even myself you know what I mean but still in that state of mind I didn't want to break anything so I didn't throw it at the wall or whatever but I just smashed it at the carpet so it wasn't like the phone was gonna break but out of anger I just like threw it and he still wouldn't take me home like no Ali you're not going anywhere all this stuff and so I went into his living room I picked up the coffee table, I took like I like slid the remotes off the coffee table and I threw the coffee table onto the ground like in the middle of the room on the carpet and it was already kind of broken so like one of the legs like twisted off of it at that point for me doing that like it just like went off to the side and like eventually came off like I literally smashed it into the carpet I threw his coffee table I was like take me home I'm like literally in a fit of rage like take me home I want to go home right now and he's still sticking to his story crying and screaming and like punching things and I was like really scared at this point I was scared of not only the things that he was doing but also like myself because I was so outraged that I was like breaking things pretty much so he finally agrees to take me home so you know he opens the door he slams the apartment door we go on the steps and like walking way ahead of him we get in the car or the truck and then he drives me home and this was like probably one of the scariest things that's ever happened to me like being in someone else's vehicle there's another story time I could share where he did something very similar to this but he drove me home and he was going like I don't even want to say a miles per hour but it was so fast way over the speed limit like if we would have hit anything we would have both died like 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 flooring the gas pedal as fast as he could going through red lights and I'm just like crying like slow down let me out of the car let me out of the car I don't even want you to take me home if you're gonna do this like we're gonna die you're gonna kill somebody and he's just like in a fit of anger like road rage just like flooring the gas he's like is this what you want is this what you want you want me to take you home this bad I'm gonna floor the gas right now I'm just gonna like go drive as fast as I can and he was we got to the dorm finally he let me out you know I, I shut the door and he like floors out of there over like the speed bumps and everything so anyone in the dorms he definitely woke up and it's like three in the morning or so I have school the next day and this is when Mary and I were still roommates so this is like the worst part I had to act like everything was fine when I went back in there because she was still up she was awake she was reading or something and she's like oh like how was your night I'm like oh it's good and I'm like really really not okay and she knew she even told me later on like she could tell that like everything wasn't fine that I wasn't okay 
okay? And so I went to bed, tried to like just calm down and forget about it. So the next day he's texting me, still sticking to his story. This continued for a few days. I refused to see him until finally I did something that I had never done previously, which was message the girl and ask what's good. Like ask for their side of the story. So I did. I DM'd her on Instagram and she didn't get back to me right away. It actually took her like an entire day. She read it and then didn't reply, which I thought was sketchy. And looking back, he was probably coaching her on what to say. Like she probably showed him that and he was telling her like, you better say this or it's going to break us up and stuff. So finally she gives me a call the next day because I left her my phone number and I tell her kind of like what he had told me. And I think that made her mad. So she was like, forget it. I'm going to tell this girl a little bit more than I was planning on. So she tells me that he had commented on one of her pictures, leaving his phone number and telling her to text him with like a heart and a smiley face emoji. And okay, you know what? Yeah. So technically he didn't lie about that. She texted him first, but want to know why? Because he told her to. So then I was asking like what they were talking about. And so she told me that he was like, what are you doing? And she's like at a parade. And he was like, yeah. Can I please come see you? I miss you so much. I'm supposed to go back home, but it'll be worth it for you. Anything for you. All this stuff, just like totally flirting with her. She even told me that it made her feel uncomfortable because she had a boyfriend and that every time he would hit her up, he was always hitting on her. And same with her friends from Woodward, which I didn't know that he talked to. So then I asked about the pictures that he commented on, which was the one where it was like a selfie of her, like at the concert. And then there was another one, but I thought that was like the relevant picture, but like that picture ended up telling me more than anything else, which it was a picture of like scenery and he had commented something on it. I think he said like, wish we could go back or something. But I tried not to look too much into that because I was like, you know what? Like they, maybe they're just friends. Like that was obviously at Woodward, the camp they were at, which was also while we were dating because he worked there one winter while we were in a relationship. So I asked her about both of those and she goes, wait, you guys were in a relationship then? And I said, yeah, we've been dating for two years. And she goes, <laughs> Oh. <laughs> and I was like, what? Like, that's not anything you ever want to hear from a girl when your boyfriend's a cheater. I knew something happened and I didn't even really want to know, but I was like, do I want to know? And she said, let's just say, because the picture, the scenery picture was of like a huge rock kind of. She's like, let's just say that rock that he took me to, that was like the rock. You know what I'm saying? Like the rock at camp. But I didn't know about you. So obviously they hooked up something at The Rock at Woodward. I tried asking her if she had seen him over the weekend and she didn't really give me a clear answer. I think mostly because she has a boyfriend. I'm pretty sure she was lying about it. But I do know that, I forgot to mention this earlier, when he was driving me home in the truck all crazy and whatnot, I found a gymnastic sticker, like a gymnast sticker. And that chick, Taylor, she was a gymnast, like pro gymnast, pro cheerleader. And it's just kind of like random. It's kind of ironic how I find a random gymnast, like girl sticker in his truck right after he gets back from Chico where this gymnast lives. So it was just really weird coincidence, didn't make any sense. And the way he reacted was again, super sketchy, just being like, I don't know, baby, they must have just like, I probably found it on the ground and just like put it in my truck. I don't know, I don't know where it came from. I swear it wasn't hers, I didn't see her. And there was also another time I found nail polish in there, but that's a whole other story. All these mysterious things that always just happen to end up in his truck. So I was like, okay, Taylor, you know, thank you. Nice to meet you, no hard feelings. Have a good life, peace yo. And then I call him. So I tell him everything that Taylor told me. He just got really quiet. He finally fessed up to it because I already knew. And it's like, a little too late now, buddy. Why didn't you tell me this four days ago or never do it in the first place? So this is when I completely broke up with him. It was over the phone. I didn't even want to see him in person. I didn't for a couple weeks until we finally got our belongings from each other, kind of. And that's a whole other story in itself because he was hardcore stalking me. He showed up at my dorm and tried to break in, wouldn't leave. But... Yeah, this is when I finally broke up with him, was done with the relationship. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, follow my social media, and check out the song Heartbreak, link in the description box below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Later, alligators. Bye. It's very easy to win. All you have to do is be subscribed to my YouTube channel, following my Instagram, following my Twitter, and then either tweet me or comment on Instagram, one of those two platforms. 